Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. To start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. This is my 101st video, and for this video, I'm going to introduce two heroes, and, well, actually three heroes, one of which is going to take some processing for you guys to understand at some point in the future. So when it comes to those kind of characters, just bear with me as much as possible. Because in due time, there would be more information about certain characters. And it will lead to satisfaction for you guys. And that particular character that I'm talking about will be the first one that I'll introduce out of the free. And I hope you guys could bear with me. Sanity. Real name, Dr. Lester Edwards. Height, 5 feet 4 inches. Weight, 134 pounds. Status hero and lover of clown. Base, untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 4 brains. Behavior. Charming, protective, and loyal. He'll always honor his true love. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. His love for clown. He's easily carried away. Powers. He has similar powers as Maniac, along with wielding a variety of different weapons in battle. Eyes bright blue, hair grayish blonde, short and sleek. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native Maniac is a charming and innocent version of him known as Dr. Lester Edwards, or simply Sanity. After gaining his destined powers, Lester met and fell in love with Clown, the innocent counterpart of Crazy. After dealing with the notorious evil eye, Sanity and Clown at last revealed their love for one another. Since then, they are nearly inseparable and will do anything to defend each other. Costume. He wears similar clothes as Mania which is basically, like, very formal, like, Britain type of, you know, clothes that those type of people wear, you know, like, during the olden times, if that makes sense. Teams, solitary, with clown, and other heroes. Original inspiration, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This next character is an affiliation with the character of Colossa, which hope you could bear with me. Tall Tiffany. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 18 feet. Weight, 755 pounds. Status, hero, and security system for Murray Tower. Base, Murray Tower, default Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, loving, protective, and moody. She'll do anything to protect both Murray Tower and everything inside. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Misogyny and pride. She has no healing factor. Powers. She has a huge size, uncanny durability, and uncanny reasoning skills. She wields a spiked police club and wears a bulletproof vest underneath her uniform. She can also make a perfect duplicate of herself whenever she needs to travel. Eyes. Bluish green. Hair. Deep brown and wavy. Origin. On the opening day of Murray Tower, Colossa decided to have someone protect the building from intruders. Using a built-in fabrication system in the tower, she created a tower and security guard who is who she simply named Tall Tiffany. Eventually, a villainous gun attempted to rob Murray Tower, and Tall Tiffany was able to defeat her. Since then, Tall Tiffany would would always defend Murray Tower, and soon became a new member of the Legion of Cops hero team. Costume. She simply wears a set of police clothes. Teams. Solitary with the Legion of Cops and other heroes. For inspiration, security teams. The last one is the most unique out of the three that I'll introduce, so I hope you guys can bear with me. Ultramorph. Real name goes by Morphe. 
Height, 450 feet. Weight, 80,000 tons. Status Hero in Master of Ma Masters of Magic member. Base, Mobile. Intelligence, 2.5 brains. Behavior, Witty and Confident. She never really worries about life. Lethality, only during a fight. Weaknesses, she has a ha bad habit of immaturity. Powers, she has great size and strength, sharp claws and teeth, a long squatting tail, and an enormous appetite. She possesses a variety of magic powers, though she doesn't really have a healing factor. Her bloated anatomy serves as great protection for most damage. Eyes, bright green, hair, brownish black, in waist length. Origin, one time. The master decided to create a new creature that would prove useful for protecting the innocents. She and her servants collected some DNA samples from Boxilla and Whitney and fused the samples through a machine located in the Blue Man Clan headquarters. When the process was complete, there was a 450-foot fox-like behemoth with an out-of-shape design, vast magical powers, and a highly cheerful personality. After a bit of scanning, the master decided to name the creature Ultra Boy, which she greatly accepted. Soon, Morphe went to help Big Bunny and Kailasa with a battle against Gigantica in Miami, and with their combined efforts, they were able to defeat her. Since then, Ultra Morph was marked as a new hero and soon became a member of the Masters of Magic. Costume. She's covered with brown and white fur. Teams, Solitary, with the Masters of Magic, and other heroes, Orbs of Inspiration, Foxes, and Magic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three characters and such, and hope you guys are having a fine beginning of the summer. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice, and you could share if you want. It's your choice. I just hope that I'm having decent progress for my creation so far, and... There's a pending chance that I would have to do more illustrations myself. But then I was told that Stan Lee wasn't the only person who drew the designs of his characters and such. And that was never really a concern. So I just hope that I'm not upsetting anyone when it comes to any illustrations that are designed in the future. You know, thank you in advance, everyone. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the summer, and until next time, in transmission.